Ed Skelton Show. With guest star Jill St. John. David Rose and his orchestra. Tonight's silent spot, Red Skelton in The Day After the Bachelor Party. And featuring Dr. Ludwig von Humperdoo. And here is, ladies and gentlemen, Red Skelton. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I really feel good tonight. You know why? We've got a new commissary here at NBC that I didn't eat in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, NBC has just opened up a new commissary here in Burbank, and they're thinking about opening up a whole string of NBC commissaries. <laughs> they're going to call it Heartburn Delight. <laughs> I saw a wait, waitress over there. She was serving shish kebab on a flaming sword to the guy next to me. And I thought to myself, oh boy, not only is he going to get heartburn, he's going to get a preview of what it's going to look like. <laughs> <laughs> they, they had quite a day over there, the opening day. There were 100 people standing in line, and that was just for the stomach pump. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. They make their own food over there. Everything's prepared to order, you know. I'm going to get one recipe they got over there. How do you make stale cake? <laughs> hey, already NBC is competing with CBS Commissary. It's sort of a, a gas war. <laughs> They have one item over there that's called poultry soup. <laughs> now, I don't know how NBC gets that peacock to back into that pot of hot water, huh? <laughs> but it's real good. Everything's finger licking good. <laughs> they got no knives and forks. <laughs> Hey, by the way, the, uh, the, I always go to the commissary early in the morning about 7 o'clock. <laughs> Flies don't get up until 9. <laughs> Yesterday, I said to the waitress, hey, there's a fly drowning in my soup. She says, what do you want me to do, give it mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation? <laughs> I ordered beef stew, and I said to this waitress, I said, would you mind taking your thumb out of my beef stew? She says, if I do, you ain't gonna have no meat in there at all. <laughs> and naturally, being NBC, they've named uh, the sandwiches after some of the big celebrities. They've got the, the Dean Burger, and the flip burger, <laughs> they named one for me, the hamburger. <laughs> Where'd that one come from? <laughs> the ham. I'm not a ham. <laughs> Hams can be cured. <laughs> and you know what I do? I was, I was over there, I was eating, and so I moved to the next table, and I said to the guy there, I said, um, would you mind if I sit with you and we'll pretend we're talking business, and that way I can write this all off as uh, business, see? <laughs> I says, well, uh, uh, off my taxes. And he says, um, I said, what, what do you do? He says, I'm from the Internal Revenue. <laughs> he says, what do you do? I says, looks like about 10 years. <laughs> hey, I kept ordering a steak, and they'd bring it back, it wasn't rare enough. So they kept bringing it back, bringing it back, and finally I waited for about a half hour. And I said to the waitress, says, what's holding my steak up? She says, it's in the recovery room. <laughs> but it's nice over there. You can eat dirt cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I walk in there. I says, what have you got special today? And the waitress says, we got vegetable soup. I says, vegetable soup? What's vegetable soup? You ready? <laughs> says, you ever eat hash? I said, yeah. She says, same thing, only it's looser. <laughs> Gertrude and Heathcliff, the two seagulls are talking, see? The two seagulls are talking. One of them says, uh, well, looks like uh, Charlie the tuna will be leaving us now. He says, is Charlie the tuna is going to leave? How come? He says, they got a new commissary at NBC and they're giving it a seven-year contract. <laughs> Hey, I had lunch over at the commissary the other day with some of the important executives with NBC, Sandy Cummings and, and Dave Tebbett. And um, I was sitting there eating raspberry pie, a piece of raspberry pie. Uh, they, they don't call it that, though. I had raspberry pie with sugar, powdered sugar on it. They call it indigestion in a snowstorm. 
But I'd like to show you what happened. I'm trying to impress these two fellows, you know, with manners, table manners, and I got one of the seeds stuck between my teeth. <laughs> Let me show you what happened. Give me my, give me my chair. <laughs> Jill St. John and Ludwig von Humperdoo in Humperdoo's Little Prescription. This is Dr. Ludwig von Humperdoo, formerly of the country of Herkovania, now citizen of the United States. This is Washington, D.C., and these are some of the landmarks that make up the city of Washington. Within the Central Intelligence Building, the vital task of checking out any irregularities in the activities of powers throughout the world is being carried on. Some 5,000 irregularities are checked out by these agents each year. Of this number, some 1,000 irregular activities lead to one man, Ludwig von Humperdoo, who is under almost constant investigation by the office of the CIA. The armies of Charisma and Listerine are missing. Two entire armies disappeared in the thin air. Now, we have information that indicates that that uh, cuckoo Dr. Ludwig von Humperdoo has something to do with it. I know, Chief. And we've got to send a special agent to uh, find out what Humperdoo is up to before our army disappears. But how? This is a picture of von Humperdoo. Assistant, Frida, little peasant girl. She's on a vacation, and she's been on a vacation for a week. Now, instead of the real assistant returning to work at the laboratory, we will disguise Special Agent SXK here to look just like Humperdue's assistant, Frida, and take her place. Go get disguised. Is this the disguise you want? Right. Right, Chief. <laughs> Wonder what's taking them so long. XK reporting for duty, sir. XK? My, what they do with a little makeup these days. Yeah, considering I didn't shave this morning. Now, you know what to do. Remember, Humpadoo is personally harmless, but he can be accidentally dangerous. He's uh, kind of a cross between Albert Einstein and uh, Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> now get going. Right, Chief. something to eat. I brought you some holes from donuts. <laughs> uh, why I ever hypnotized you two years ago and ever since you've been thinking you're a bronze bird. <laughs> well, there you are. Eat up whenever you want to. Hey, nobody around. I have got a new invention. I have just invented a new thing. Oh, the Doctor? Yes, Frida. Welcome back. 
I'm glad you came back and you got here just in time. I thought you might arrive a little ahead of yourself. Here you are. Come here. I want to show you a new invention I have. A new invigation. Honey, while you were away on your vacation, look what I've been winning. What's so great about a salami? Salami? It used to be a blimp. <laughs> it used to say bad year on the side. <laughs> that's amazing, Dr. Lee. Isn't that? That's nothing. Not quite as amazing as I thought it would be, because I thought it would be more of a laugh, actually. <laughs> Here. Here's another one. This is a new thing that I've invented with my new theorem I've invented. Did you know that this at one time used to be a 747? Just one of the pups. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, I have invented a new theorem. Pardon me, I talk juicy, don't I? <laughs> I'm refreshing to talk to on a hot day, I tell you that. As a matter of fact, I thought about putting wheels on myself and using me as a sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this new invention that I have is a theorem. It's called a thrunk, uh, th uh, thrinkum, uh, the, the, the little, makes you little. A little, a shrink serum. A shrink, there you are. Hey, pretty good. You stand over here, you can read the lines better than I can. <laughs> there you are. You know what I have just done? I have invented a new thing called low jacking. You've heard of hijacking? Oh, I have invented low jacking. Come over here, wonderful. It's really amazing. Yes, sir. Walk over here. What do you think? Put your hand over your ears. I don't want anybody to hear this. Well, how will I know what you're saying? Your hands will tell you later. Well, how can your hands tell me anything? You never heard tell of the hands talking? No. <clears throat> what shall we talk about? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's in this box? A bundle of nerves? No, 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 no. I've got in here the whole Charisma Army. Oh, how in the world did you get the entire Charisma Army in that box? I bombed them with some of my freaking, my little theorem. I bombed them, and a nearsighted cat went out and brought them back in there. Yeah, they thought it, they thought it, it was mice. Oh, let me take a look. I love service me. You do. Open it up and take a look in there. There you are. How about that? I must have put another army in there with them. They're having a mini war. Tell me, doctor. Yeah. How does your shrink serum work? Well, I got the idea when I sent my clothes to the laundry, and everything came back so little. When people say, sleep tight, it means something to me because my pajamas, I can't hardly move anymore. <laughs> Anyhow, I took the formula from a, a very bad detergent, and I added two ingredients, and I found my secret formula. Formula, yes. Yeah. I'm so proud of myself, I could marry me. <laughs> Professor, you can't marry yourself. I can't? No. Well, then I'll take my wedding ring back. <laughs> I've got it over here. I've got it hidden. I've got the secret serum. Let's see. Right, three, left, six. There we are. Open it up. There we are. I've got it right here, my secret serum, in a little teensy weensy tea bag. A little teensy weensy tea bag. That's my secret serum there. Yeah, I'll show you how it works. You take it over here and you dip it into the voice machine, like that. Let me show you how this works. You put it in there, shrinks everything. Everything makes it just more. A little bit, little bit, little bit. How do you like that? I got it out and put it right back in again. <laughs> if you eat it, there we are. There we are. <laughs> Only takes a minute or two. Just a minute or two. Just a minute. How do you like that? It's so strong that it's funk itself. To serve on an ice cream sundae. <laughs> yeah. Here, we put it back in here. You Let's... look a little tired, Ludie. Why don't you lie down and take a cat nap? No, let the cat take his own nap. <laughs> <laughs> I never take a nap in the afternoon. I take a little snooze once in a while, but uh, never a nap. Here, Let's... Oh, I forgot the combination. Right three. Right three. Left six. Right three. <laughs> One of them ages. There he is. Put it right in here. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to take a little snooze. <laughs> to get the shrink serum. Oh, I forgot the combination. Right, three, left, six. Go to sleep.
I'm left holding the bag. I did it! I did it! I now have a bucket of shrink serum. There, there you are. You think I just did? Ah, gonna kick the bucket, huh? <laughs> I don't like to say this, but you look a little pale. <laughs> That's a little humor I threw it in there. Uh -huh. I'm gonna take it outside and throw it out, too. <laughs> you know what I was doing while I was upstairs? I was laying in bed and I was counting over 1,000 sheep. How did you sleep? Bad. <laughs> now it's time for Special Agent XK to make his big move. Say, um... I, you either going to kick the bucket or you're a little pale around the gills. What is this? <laughs> I'm going into the closet. If you'll excuse me, I'm going in and invent something new. Let's see, what can I invent that hasn't been invented yet? Let me see, something to reveal. That'll be the last invention you ever touch, Dr. Ludwig von Hooperdoo. Humperdoo! <laughs> Special agent, you thought you was putting one over on you, me, huh? Well, I knew you wasn't free to all along. So. What's going on here? <laughs> Isn't it wonderful when you rehearse real good? <laughs> I, uh, while I was in there, I have invented another serum. It's called a duplicating serum. It's my Xerox serum. Xerox serum? I made a copy of myself. Oh, don't give me that stuff, Ludie. Who is that? This is me when I was a little boy. <laughs> And now, the silent spot. Red Skelton in the day after the bachelor party.
Here he is again, Red Skelton. <laughs> Thank you. We'd like to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, our sponsors and staff, and especially you, ladies and gentlemen, for allowing me to be a part of your evening, Nick, each week. And we really enjoy coming and visit with you. So until next week, we'll say goodbye for now. Good health to you, and may God bless. Good night. Thank you. <laughs>